Excuse me as I kiss the sky. It starts right here. I appreciate the love and support. So you online looking for someone who understands your unique life experiences. Well, thank God you've made it here. Subscribe because I got you. I found ways to navigate through this life. And with my advice, you can get a grip on it all, okay? I'll give you tips about your health, relationships, business, finances, and parenting. Make sure you like, share, and comment, but keep it clean. Listen, follow me on Instagram. What I'm talking to you about is something that I saw on Instagram, okay? I was shocked because I follow this guy. His name is, I think it's Dayon. I don't know, it's Dayon? Something like that anyway. He has this Instagram account. It's called quote one self. And he put up this interesting post and I couldn't believe he put it up. I was just like so dumbfounded. And everybody in the comment section was so dumbfounded. He put up this post and it said, a rebound helps you get over your long time ex. And they also help you see if you can stick to your boundaries this time. Then the caption, I think the caption is what really got me. He said, if you find yourself allowing your rebound to overstep your boundaries, just like you allowed your ex to, then you're not ready to date just yet. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold, okay, stop. <laughs> this is really got weird for me. I was like, okay, these relationship gurus are a trip. Number one. The fact that he was encouraging people to have a rebound was kind of disgusting to me and also disgusting to the other people who were coming into the comment section. It was confused. I was like, wait, what? Like, I don't understand this. Like, you encouraging people to have a rebound? Like, that's kind of cruel. If anything, if you're the type of person that's giving relationship advice, you need to be encouraging people not to have a rebound. If you feel like you need to have, have a rebound, that right there says you're not ready to date. You don't have to have a rebound and then, Make the mistake of allowing your rebound to overstep your boundaries for you to realize that now is not the time for you to date. If you are even considering a person that you're hanging out with a rebound, it's not time for you to date. Trying to make somebody your rebound is such a cruel thing because a lot of times rebounds don't know that's what they are. A lot of the time, most of the time, let's talk maybe 95% of the time, a rebound don't even know that's what they are. Especially when we talking about dealing with men. Most of the time, men, when they're juggling a whole bunch of women, they're feeling some type of way. And every woman that they're dealing with is a rebound from some woman that hurt their feelings some other time ago. Men use their man part for a lot of different reasons, okay? And one of the reasons is because they're trying to get over another woman. They got emotions, they got stresses, they got things that they're dealing with. So they use intimacy as a way to get through it. A lot of them have a communication problem, but they don't mind communication intimately in a, you know, instant gratification type of way. That means they're casual in their behaviors with their rebounds and they're doing things that they shouldn't be doing with them. They're not ready to be in any type of relationship with anybody. But the fact that her relationship guru was basically like, listen, you're not ready to date. <laughs> if you're letting your rebound overstep boundaries, oh my God. This is like, I was just talking about another guy. And, and I'm sorry, but men are giving some crazy advice online. I was just talking about another guy that I was looking at a video of his the other day where he was talking about how men shouldn't have sympathy for a single mothers. And I was like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Like you should be leery of anybody who's telling you to not have sympathy and compassion 
for another human being. I mean, he's telling you to get rid of a natural emotion that you're going to need. That's going to be part of, you know, your instinct, your basic instinct to live life. You know, it's going to get you out of a lot of situations when you have compassion and sympathy for other people. It's going to give you a better understanding of yourself. And here comes this guy who's supposedly giving great advice out here telling men to not feel those things for women who may be in a less fortunate situation. Not every single mother is walking around here purposely a single mom. Just like how every rebound is not out here knowing that they're like an actual rebound. Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> some situations you get in, you just aren't sure what you're doing. And if you have a rebound, I'm telling you straight up, if you are a rebound you are in complete bliss right now and have no idea i'm telling you and you could be falling in love with somebody who is only using you it's like inception it's like creating a vicious cycle of hurt people hurting people it's just why would someone encourage another person to have a rebound that is so cruel to me. And I'm telling you, this relationship stuff, when I see, I'm like, oh my God. Like, and people would say, but we're trying to tell them, like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, why are you encouraging this? And of course, I just clicked off the, the uh, quote because he says a lot of other positive quotes that are very, you know, like, helpful to me. So I didn't want to just look at this one that seemed weird and be like, okay, I don't want to look at any other quotes that he has but this one just really had me confused like oh my god like they're encouraging people to have rebounds like what is this world coming to like uh -uh. don't even do that like you would not want somebody to hurt you in that manner the fact that you are in the stage where you're trying to get over someone who has hurt you why would you want to put someone else in that boat like think about that like you really want to hurt somebody when we get inside of these relationships, we're all taking a risk here. We're all trying to figure out, is this somebody that I want to be with? Is this someone that I'm casually sleeping with? And a lot of times we be leading people on to believe that they are more than what they are. And that right there is the worst thing that you can do to somebody. For me, if I'm not interested in a guy, I'm going to let him know that off break. If I'm not interested in being in a relationship, if I'm not trying to move past whatever he we at right now i'm gonna say that you know i don't want him to invest all of this time and energy into me without him knowing what's up that's the that's the hurtful stuff the lie i've always said that about cheating cheating when you are in a relationship with somebody to me cheating ain't even the worst part sleeping with somebody else the actual physical act of doing that is not even the worst part of the betrayal. The betrayal is lying about it. That's the hurtful part. You're going around here lying about it. For what? Like that's that's the sneaky part that has people not being able to trust you. How is somebody supposed to trust you when they go into work? Or when you tell them that you're going to the store, how, how are they supposed to believe that that's what's happening with you? If you lie, you know, so my thing is, I tell guys all this all the time and I, and I said this before I tell guys all the time before I end up in a relationship with them I tell them this when I'm friends with them I'm like listen we could be in a polyamorous relationship where we could be cool with each other we can be in a relationship with one another and if we want to step out the relationship sometimes and have like other friendships or other situations with other people that's something that we can tell each other and that's just the type of the nature of the situation that we have and everybody just in the situation is just going to be cool about it now you have to find other polyamorous people you can't just be poly with each other and then go find some people who are big on monogamy and think this is about to be a smooth situation no you have to find other people who are also into the poly lifestyle so i give men the opportunity to do that from the beginning and most times men are like oh no i want to be monogamous i'm like are you sure <laughs> i did it with my son's father i was like you sure you want to be monogamous my boo <laughs> are you sure he was like yeah i was like okay then we ended up in a monogamous relationship and he ended up cheating and lying for 
what? I just gave you the opportunity to go out here and do whatever it is that you wanted to do, but just tell me the truth. And he was like, well, I want to be able to, you know, entertain other women, but I don't want you to entertain other men. I also don't know if I can tell you the truth about what I'm doing. You see how weird that is? It's like, oh, so you want to feel comfortable with what you doing and you want me to feel comfortable with what you doing. But if I was doing what you was doing, then you can't have that, huh? You can't handle that. And I'm supposed to just accept that mono misogynistic shit. I'm supposed to just accept that. Mono Boy, if you don't get out of my face, you know what I'm if you don't go somewhere with that, that double standard stuff is not going to work for me. Now, I know a lot of people are like, you got to have low standards in order to be poly. No, it's like a different way of having a relationship you know it's uh, what well, one thing that i noticed about a lot of women is that they don't realize how many different kinds of relationships that there are most people believe that monogamy is the only type of relationship to have it is so many different types of relationships in this world just like it's so many different like sexualities i remember where it used to be um simple where it was like listen either you're heterosexual or you're homosexual not anymore it's like oh i'm bisexual i'm asexual personally for me i'm demisexual to me being demisexual and this is let me just stop saying sexual because you know you can't say sexual on youtube there's so many different ways to do things that works for so many different people how are you so sure that monogamy is going to work for you you aren't sure that's the thing if monogamy was this great successful thing, the divorce rate wouldn't be so high. People wouldn't be breaking up so much. People wouldn't be cheating on each other so much. Think about that. Cheating happens more than anything. Breaking up happens more than anything because people believe there's only one way to have a relationship and that's the monogamous way. I mean, of course you got selfish people out there. Like, you know, like I said, my ex was, he was selfish. He wanted to go out here and do whatever he wanted to do, but he also wanted to keep me, you know, but he didn't want me to go out there and do what I wanted to do. And I know a lot of people that are like, What's the point in being in a relationship if you can't commit to one another? <laughs> Polyamory is about you being responsible when you commit to someone. Because if someone that's committing to you in a monogamous relationship who is still being irresponsible if they're cheating and lying to you. And I don't think a lot of people think of it that way. You don't even, it doesn't even register in your mind that a person is out here disrespecting you entirely. Your entire situation, lying to you, sneaking around, humiliating you. Other people are seeing you, you other people are seeing your partner out with someone else behind your back and half of them don't even want to tell you. It's happened to me. People tell me months later, oh yeah, I saw your ex at Peribata Mall with such and such girl and I didn't want to tell you because I thought you was going to get mad at me. Oh, you're my friend. Why you ain't tell me? I'm definitely mad at you now. You were supposed to speak up. Nah, I saw them and I was like, she going to blame me. So I, ain't you know, stuff like that. <laughs> it's like, God, tell me. So it, it could, it's humiliating. Just put it like that. It, it's definitely humiliating. So here's my thing. If you're not ready to be in a relationship, you'll know. You're still thinking about your ex. You might still cry over your ex. You might still be talking about your ex. You might be ready to move on with someone else. Okay. It, it could be a possibility. You might be ready to move on with someone else. And because you've been single so long, the first person you see might seem like they're a good idea, but no, no, it's almost like, you know how you really thirsty and you open the refrigerator and it's like nothing in there, but Sprite, <laughs> you really want some water, but you don't drink faucet water and you out of spring water and you like, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and drink this Sprite or this juice. Cause I'm hella thirsty. 
yeah it's like that it's like i'm just gonna choose whoever because i haven't had something to drink in such a long time it's the same thing with when you're choosing people when you've been alone for a long time that's how people are ending up being like rebounds people have been single too long you know they want to get in a relationship they're trying to move on fast from an ex so they get with whoever and that person ends up being a rebound or they end up being a placeholder for you know I'm just going to sit this person right here until I actually find somebody else I truly want to be with. Those two positions are like the most hurtful positions that you can put somebody else in. Be careful with that boomerang, man. That boomerang is going to come back. Y'all got to understand how karma works. Karma is a part of the universe. Okay, I know some of y'all don't believe in God. I personally do. I believe in the universe. I believe in metaphysics. And I'm telling you, what you put out into the world is going to come back to you in some type of way. Some type of way. So if you out here with rebounds or you out here with placeholders, don't be surprised if you end up becoming one and it hurts you so bad because you had no idea that's what you were. So if you're not ready to date or you you seeing somebody and you have a, a some type of feeling that you might not be ready to take them serious, you got to let these people know that. Like you owe people that. And when you don't pay people what you owe, the universe will have its way with you. Trust me. It's not going to just leap over you. It does not forget your address. All right. I appreciate you watching. Have vision. I appreciate you being here. If you have any questions, you know, you can email me at gmail.com. Okay. Have vision and stay focused. Namaste.